What is up my stallion programmers, it's Zach here and welcome to another Game Maker video. Today I want to touch on a subject of time travel and I recently did a video of an old game of mine called Three Puzzles which basically uses the mechanic of going through a set amount of actions and then it actually replays those actions for you that you just did. And I thought that was a really cool idea, a really cool mechanic and I wanted to show you guys how I went about doing that. So what I went ahead and did was I created a simple project. Um, you're just this box that moves around. You can uh, jump and it's got collision. That's all this project is, right? And we're gonna take this and through your actions, you can hit enter or on a timer and it's gonna replay the actions that you just did. So I wanna jump, jump around over here, all of that stuff, just like you just saw, all right? So let's go ahead and begin. So if we go into my player class, or uh, object, we see I've got very, I just got a step event and a collision with the block. So in the step event, all it is, uh, some gravity code, some left and right code, and space for jumping. And then the uh, collision with the block, you know, just some very basic collision. So let's go ahead and begin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is in the create event of our player, because we want to get all of our players actions we're gonna have to set up a few variables <coughs> so here I'm gonna say global var and I'm just gonna set up xpos ypos which stands for position length time pos recorded and g length there we go and here I'm just gonna set it so I'm gonna set the length to equal 300 the time pass equals zero. Recorded equals zero. And our G length equals 10 multiplied by our room speed. So our G length is basically how long can you move around and do all this stuff before it's like, all right, the limit's over, we're gonna replay your actions now. So you can set this to 30, you can set it to 60 for it being a minute's worth. We're just gonna set it for 10 now. And then we're gonna say length equals G length is recorded uh, equals false. Or actually, you know, let's say, it'd probably be better if we say is recording and we'll say true. So if this is true, this means that we're recording all of our actions and events and stuff like that. All right, so just some pretty basic variables that we're gonna need are xpos, ypos. This is, these are things where the, the way we're gonna be doing it is every step we're gonna be tracking the x and y positions. If you're familiar with networking or anything like that, uh, this should be familiar to you. All right, so now let's go ahead and set an alarm. We're gonna set alarm zero. And this is, I'm just gonna comment in here, uh, recording players actions. All right, and here we're gonna say, if time pass is less than length, so in other words, are we still able to do all this stuff? If not, then the 10 seconds is up and it's just going to uh, uh, revert to like showing what we've actually recorded. So this is, while we're recording, this is what's gonna happen. So here I'm gonna say xpos, and I'm going to make this into an array, and I'm gonna say time pos equals x, y pos, say time pos equals y, and our time pos is basically every tick or every time it updates, that time pos is increasing, right? So here we're gonna say time pos plus plus, and if you're not new, using GameMaker Studio, you might wanna do plus equals one uh, if you're getting an error with plus plus. We're gonna set alarm zero to equal one and recorded equals one. And that's all we have to do for this. But if our time pass is, is greater than our length, which means our time's up, we're gonna just set a quick else. And this is going to say set time pass to equal zero, recorded, to equal two, basically zero means that we've just initiated the variables, one means we're recording and two means we're not. All right, and we're gonna say if 
recorded equals two. We're going to set alarm one to equal one and is recording to equal false. So alarm zero is going to be for recording our player's actions. And if we go to alarm one, this is going to be replaying player's actions. And here we basically have the same thing. We're going to say if time pass is less than length. So this right here, again, just replaying everything. All right. We're going to say if x pass, oops, time pass equals zero and our y pass time pass equals zero. We're going to put some curly braces in. Then we're going to say x pass time pass equals x. And you know what? We can just pretty much just take all this here. Actually, you know what? That might not work. Let's set length to equal our time pass. And that should work. So basically what we're saying right here is if we if we've hit enter something or we didn't actually go to the very end of the 10 seconds let's say like we want to stop our recording actions five seconds in so this is going to stop it uh, from still going through that full 10 seconds so then we're just gonna say else so if it if it did do uh, that full um, the full uh, 10 seconds then we're gonna say x equals x pos and our time pass here, and y equals y pass time pass. There we go. And then, of course, down here, we're going to say recorded equals three time pass plus plus, and our alarm one equals one. expand this a little bit if our time pass is greater than our length then we're gonna say else and we're gonna say recorded equals 2 and our time pass equals 0 just sort of a fail safe all right and then also up here I'm gonna set our sprite index now this is not required to equal s time traveler just so uh, we can have a different sprite for which is our purple guy here when we're actually showing it so it looks cool now let's say for example we wanted to hit the enter key to stop our recording it's pretty simple we'll just say if is recording length equals time pass recorded equals two and is recording equals false and then in our create event we're going to want to call alarm zero to equal one so we can start recording right away so let's go ahead and give that a run see if it works so here we have my guy we can jump we'll jump over here we'll jump over there if I hit enter as you can see now there is some perfecting that needs to be done with it um, and then and then right then we can start uh, controlling our character again so there is some perfecting uh, it it can be glitchy at some points um, that's all fine-tuning with how your system goes though because we're just using sort of the speed variable and um, using x pos and y pos there are ways of predicting where um, things might go uh, to sort of better it now we can just say because of our gravity it's sort of uh, uh, getting in the way we can say if is recording and we'll see if that fixes things so 
we'll run it see if we can do that so here we go we got our guy we're gonna come down here gonna come over here we hit enter there we go I didn't see any glitches that time so all you have to do is really just play around with it and um, see what works for your game all right so leave a like go and subscribe let me know if you guys want to see more of these type of tutorials and of course peace